everybody likes a good mystery. And I feel like Cedar Point has done a great job this year in cre creating all kinds of suspense and really keeping us kind of in the dark with exactly what Forbidden Frontier is going to be. There's been clues along the way. Last fall they announced uh, they were opening up Adventure Island for this Forbidden Frontier in that it was going to be an interactive uh, sort of area uh, in the park and that sounded intriguing to me uh, but as we keep getting more clues and getting a better idea of what's going on I think it's definitely worth talking about exactly like what's going to happen May 25th this year when they open it. Uh, a couple weeks ago at Winter Chill Out we were able to attend a uh, session called Announcements and they talked about what's going to be happening in 2019 and 2020 at Cedar Point and there is so much uh, to discuss but today we're going to talk about Forbidden Frontier on Adventure Island and what is going to be going on. We weren't allowed um, to have any video and we weren't allowed to have any photographs uh, taken during uh, that event but we were uh, able to take uh, notes and I did some sketches of some of what I heard and some of what I saw and I took those sketches put them on some watercolor paper and uh, today's video is just going to be me uh, coloring that uh, uh, those sketches uh, with watercolors and telling you what I think is going to be happening uh, with Forbidden Frontier this year so I'm going to roll the intro and I'll see you on the other side of that thanks guys So this is some of what we know about Forbidden Frontier on Adventure Island. Last August 21st, Cedar Point announced that Dinosaurs Alive was going to disappear and be replaced with a new interactive experience called Forbidden Frontier on Adventure Island. The initial response from some was like, no, we want a new coaster, uh, which is crazy since we just got Steel Vengeance. Others were kind of excited about what it's going to be. A lot of people were saying, oh, it's just going to be an escape room uh, where you go onto this island and you can't get off till you solve some clues. Um, other people were just excited that maybe it was a way that they could cut from one coaster to another by cutting through this area. Um, a lot of speculation. Then uh, a mailer, direct mailer to uh, Cedar Point uh, fans in Cedar Point uh, season pass holders uh, came out October 31st, which gave a little more information. Uh, put a preliminary map showing some of the surrounding areas um, that we now know are there. Uh, Fort Sandusky, of course, Cedar Creek um, Pass, uh, Stratomans Ridge, and Sitnam Point, uh, which of course is Mantis backwards and Stratomans, of course. Uh, is talking about our strata coaster dragster. Uh, so those were like some of the surrounding areas. And then since then, they've announced some other areas that include um, Snake River Swamp. So it'll be interesting to see um, what other uh, areas that are inside of this area. Uh, we found out that it is a free experience. So as long as you are paying uh, to get into the park, uh, you are free to go to this area and uh, you can participate um, uh, several different ways. One, uh, you can interact with the locals of Forbidden Frontier uh, or the, the locals of Adventure Island and uh, ask them questions. They may ask you questions, but it's good to interact with uh, these people that are living on the island. Uh, from there, uh, they may send you somewhere or tell you some information that may be a key to uh, something else, uh, but there will be a lot of characters every day, and there's a mystery on this Forbidden Frontier that you need to figure out. So uh, what you know is that something 
has happened. Something, um, I don't know if it's tragic, but there was uh, some type of unrest in this area. And uh, what we learned from our meeting is that there is a character called Etta Fox, who's kind of the peacekeeper of this town and uh, keeping everybody happy. So it may seem uh, peaceful uh, when you first get there, but I'm sure as we interact with these guests, we'll find out that uh, there's still some unrest and some dislike of, of other characters. Uh, so that's that's one part of the experience is just interacting with uh, these different characters. The other part of this interaction is very physical. So they released a uh, part of the map uh, called Snake River Swamp, and it's pretty clear uh, that there's this uh, water area and uh, you need to get across, but there's more than one way uh, to get across this water area. Uh, one of the ways uh, is clearly using a cable ferry, uh, which is just like a raft and a cable and you pull yourself across to one side. Um, another side in the, um, looks like the middle of this water area, looks like just uh, kind of like a very difficult path that goes up and down and, and just it's not easy to navigate uh, getting across but it's a complete walking path and then the other uh, goes around and there's a tunnel or a cave that runs through um, a waterfall and you go through that to get to one side to the other so this is just one of, of many different places that you'll go um, in this area and find um, some type of obstacle course or some type of uh, questions or something that you need to figure out to actually solve a challenge. Um, I think kind of like uh, what we've seen on like Survivor or similar shows where you have these activities you have to complete to move from one level to the next. Then there's a whole nother uh, way to interact uh, on this island time and enjoy uh, the costumes and the places. There's going to be food and um, drink. Uh, I believe there's going to be beer. There'll be fire pits and chairs to sit in and uh, uh, just a great place to go hang out even if you don't, if you just want to watch what's going on and watch some of these activities rather than actually participating. Uh, so I think that's, that's really cool that uh, uh, all ages are certainly welcome to come to this area. You can be as immersive as you want, uh, but uh, maybe you don't like to s talk to a lot of people and stuff. You can still go and enjoy this area um, without having to be forced into interaction. Uh, although it does sound like it would be uh, a lot of fun uh, to do so. I'm going to uh, just read here uh, one of the first announcements they made uh, about Forbidden Frontier. It says, grab your map and prepare for a minute-by-minute -minute real life adventure where you and others are challenged, questioned, and pushed to the limits in both brain and brood power. Be immersed in interactive encounters with the island's inhabitants and push yourself with physically active challenges that test your resourcefulness and fortitude. It's your job to discover and uncover all that you can to solve the mystery surrounding the Forbidden Frontier and return to tell the tale. Every ending is different and determined by you and the secrets you unlock. The secrets of Forbidden Frontier will be revealed as we unlock the adventure map, so come back to this page for updates and new surprises. The Forbidden Frontier on Adventure Island is included with park admission and open summer 2019. So that was the uh, first uh, information that we got about it. And we've talked some about what that involves, but uh, an interesting thing I've seen on some of the blog posts uh, that people are putting that they are forming teams uh, to uh, come uh, starting May 25th and they want to figure out before any other team figures it out. So uh, I don't know, that's interesting. Uh, I was just thinking of 
of going and enjoying this uh, myself as I learn uh, what it's more about. But uh, there's actually going to be some groups of people that are going that are going to be splitting up, asking all these questions, doing all these different courses, writing notes, and trying to figure this out first. Who can be the first to figure this out? I find that exciting. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be that devoted uh, to it because I'll still want to get in my rides to Steel Vengeance and uh, Millennium Force and all the other great rides. Uh, right here um, uh, is just a section uh, of what might be a, a gypsy area of the park. This hasn't been released, but it was something that um, there was a quick sketch uh, that they showed uh, at Winter Chill Out that had a gypsy area and somebody that's a gypsy obviously might be living there for the summer. So I just did a quick sketch of that. Uh, but no matter what, it seems like it's going to be a really exciting uh, time. Lots of characters. I wonder if they'll bring like the old prospector into it or Professor Dilbert uh, may be a character or any of the Steel Vengeance characters uh, might make an appearance. Uh, it'll be really interesting. I hope you're uh, able to come out to Forbidden Frontier on Adventure Island this year. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I'll be there uh, May 25th for the opening of it and uh, tell me what you think below like what's gonna happen what do you uh, are you gonna form a team are you gonna just show up sometime throughout the summer and check it out are you not interested at all uh, make comments below and uh, I really want to hear what everybody has to think about it as always thanks for watching Coaster Passport and uh, please like subscribe tell all your friends and if you want to see uh, the newest content just click that bell uh, Next week we will be headed down to uh, North Carolina, the Carowinds, uh, for opening weekend and the preview night to ride Copperhead Strike. So uh, that video will be coming up in the next couple weeks. Uh, looking forward to seeing you. Thanks again.